Hello friends, welcome to Learn with Mr. Nova. This video is the second video about computer organization and architecture. Computer organization and architecture is a study of the internal working, structuring and implementation of the computer system. Here are some questions to test your knowledge about this aspect in computer sciences. There are basically 10 questions and there are two extra questions for the viewers to share their opinion over those questions. Let's kick start. Before we proceed, uh, watch this video till the end, not forgetting to subscribe and click on the notification icon if this is your first time to visit this channel, so as to get notified whenever a video is uploaded on YouTube. Question 1. The circuit converting binary data into decimal is called A. Decoder B. Code converter C. Encoder D. Multiplexer 5 seconds to answer this question. The answer is C, an encoder. So an encoder is a circuit board which converts binary data into decimal. That is from base 2 to base 10. Question 2. Dash is a temporal storage area in the central processing unit for inputs to output operations in the computer system. A, channel. B, register. C, buffer. D, USB key. You know the USB stands for the Universal Serial Bus. Five seconds to answer this question. The answer is the buffer. You know a buffer is a temporal storage area in the central processing unit for storing inputs to output instructions. Question three. The data processing cycle consists of A. Input. Output storage and output b input output storage and processing c input processing and output d input processing output and storage three seconds to answer this question the answer is d input processing output and storage Question 4. Which of the following computer generations uses the concept of artificial intelligence? A. First. B. Second. C. Third. D. Fourth. Three seconds to answer this question. The answer is D. The fourth generation. Question 5. Another name for the secondary storage is... A. Dick storage B. Primary storage C. Auxiliary storage D. Memory storage 5 seconds to answer the question The answer is C. The auxiliary storage Question 6 For the given logic gate below, the expression for the output is Five seconds to answer this question. The answer is C. That is an expression for the ZOR gate. That's the exclusive OR gate. Question seven. The brain of the computer is A, ALU. You know the ALU stands for the arithmetic logic unit. B. Memory. C. Control unit. D. CPU, which stands for the central processing unit. Five seconds to answer this question. The answer is D. The central processing unit. Question 8. Which of the following is an example of an impact printer? You know, there are two types of printers. You have the impact and the non-impact printer. So these are the options. A, laser, the laser printer. B, the inject printer. C, the dot matrix printer. D, the thermal transfer or the thermal printer. Five seconds to answer this question. The answer is C, the dot matrix printer is an example of an impact printer. 
question nine. Which of the following is not an input device? A, touchpad, B, mouse, C, printer, D, a joystick. You're given five seconds to answer this question. You know, an input device is a device that is used to enter data into the computer system. The answer is C. A printer is an output device. You know, the touchpad, the mouse, and the joystick all are input devices. Question 10. How many nibbles are there in 4 bytes? A, 32, B, 16, C, 8, D, 4. Five seconds to answer this question. The answer is C. There are eight nibbles in four bytes. You know, a nibble is half a byte. So four times two is eight. So totally there are eight nibbles in four bytes. Question 11. It's an assignment to my viewers who have uh, completed this video from the beginning, that's from question one to question 10. These are your assignment, and I would like you to share your opinion over these questions at the comment section. The ALU, which stands for the arithmetic logic unit, makes use of dash to store the intermediate results. A, accumulator, B, stack, C, register, D, program counter. So I'll be expecting your opinion on this question 11 at the comment section and question 12. I'll equally be expecting your opinion at the comment section. What is the binary equivalent of a decimal number? 386. You can have the list of binary numbers. So I'll be equally expecting your uh, opinion over this question at the comment section. So hope this video is helpful. If yes, kindly press the subscription button below and click on the notification icon to get notified whenever a video is uploaded on YouTube. And thanks once more for watching this video till the end.